friends uh, I have a quick video for you guys today just a uh, uh, general maintenance um, on these sea spray normally we change the oil on them um, every 100 hours so normally we change the the oil every 100 hours or so um, or less I think the the manual says change every uh, 50 hours so that's how many hours this sea spray has And then this one right there that's how many hours is this one has as well so but this one it's been changed uh, the engine once um, this engine it only has Oh, I think um, about 50 hours or so because we just start using this uh, three weeks ago. <laughs> Look at this guy. Someone lose. Someone lose the bolts in here. Look at this. Right there. There's no bolts in there. But this this engine it only has like I said 50 hours or so. That's a brand new engine. Uh, because the other one went out. So Basically, the engine you only got a two. What's that? About thirteen hundred hours on on the engine, and then um, we have another one on the shop. Same same model as this one. Same thing. I think it's like thirteen thirteen hundred hours as well. And we regularly name it our 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 stuff um, every 50 75 hours or so give a check so that's what I'm gonna do today Don't go cheap on the oil. I use this uh, type of oil. This um, brand is not sponsoring this video or anything. I just, that's what I, uh, I'm using. Because um, it clearly says in here, synthetic motor oil, five weight 40, so. That's what I'm using right now.
That's how much does that thing it cares. That's the second one. You can tell that this we need another one of these. Then with the air compressor. Right there. Okay, with the clean paper towel, I'll just kind of scrub up here if there's any oil or anything like that. See all this? That's basically everything that's up here. So, and then, after I've done that, again with the blower. And that's it. That's how I, that's how I clean this, this air filter. And then, So on this, I just, just a normal, um, just a normal, um, oil jug, and I cut off a hole in here, right there. This, this is the, this is the perfect sound down here, without trying to get this thing out of there. This right here, so. What I did, that's what I have in here. And then I used a uh, three quarter of an inch, um, of an inch. And here, that's the correct size. And then this, the front one, it's a uh, 16 millimeter. Right, so. so We're gonna leave that one in there. We can go to the next one.
lighting on this shop is bad, so I'm trying to get my flashlight in here. Same thing, three quarter of an inch and then sixteen. Mm. We leave it like that. And then I'll check back with you guys in a little bit when I'm getting ready to fill up or something. Then we change in the oil on this engine. Um, then I just have this cord empty. And then I added this. This engine doesn't come with this um, draining hose I added and it cost I think like 18 20 dollars or so online so look at that hmm. looks like it's never been used but we're using this engine every day so we'll see. It's still clean. It's still brand new looking. Look at that. And this engine it has I think around 175 hours or so on this, so that means on the other one I don't have to do this. But I'm gonna go and, and I'm gonna go ahead and, and change the oil on this one, just because I, I did it already and that's a brand new engine. So let's say that's a braking. This is so much easier than can do it up here. Right there. Okay, if you guys are a regular um, spraying company, go ahead and get you guys um, this oil filter. And then some fuel filter because you guys can go through this a lot. Um, fuel filters uh, specific for bridge and strat engine. It's better buying by group than buying individual every every 15 days or every 20 days. That's right there, and part number is eight four two nine two one. That's specific for um, bridge and strand um, engines, because this is that's the top engine that this this ray uses, and uh, right there. And this it cost I think like eight dollar each one online versus um, nowadays it's like 13 15 16 dollars on the auto parts store so it's half the cost right there and then this fuel filter I got them um, I think like five dollars a piece or I think 
actually five or or ten dollars for three and it's OEM number in there as well um, yeah that means like it's like twelve or ten dollars for three of them so I'm gonna go ahead and change that too as well You guys can see the filter right there. It's kind of easy once you get used to it. I like to put some paper towel in here so it doesn't make a mess around here. Gonna put a little, uh, little oil in the ring uh, sealer. That way, next time it won't be difficult to do it. Yeah, this is just hand tight it's you don't have to crank on it it's an oil filter This is the same thing, you don't have to crank on it. Yeah, just like that. Nice and clean. Trying to not turn any oil in here because I don't like to see oil all, all over the engine or all over down here. So I'm gonna do that the, the same thing to the other one. And uh, same process, same everything. Okay, adding oil to the to the sea spray. I know this is a quart um, that I have in here, so I'll just fill up a quart and then I fill up the sea spray as I go. I never measure like how much exactly will take. I know it takes more than a quart, so like that. And I'll just put this on here. Okay, I spilled a little, but I'm gonna add another a pint. Pint. And then we'll see from there. Okay, normally I don't measure how much this will take. I'll just fill up as it goes and I'll just see the dip stick basically. Um, I start with a quarter, I mean, uh, uh, yeah, one quart.
right there. Try not just spill in here. right there so it takes a quarter plus a pint right there hopefully you guys can see that where where the dipstick mark is um, and then I filled up the the um, the filter before I put it in so I know that this it's ready to go for uh, next time that we're gonna use